Hi, I'm Chef Don Averso, Director of the Culinary Arts Department at Tidewater Community College in Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a couple of recipes that are quick, easy, and very nutritious. I know when you're working, you don't have a lot of time to make meals, and sometimes the nutrition part can go out the window. So we're going to hold on to that and show you some really neat things that you could do, serve to your family, and hopefully get a couple of meals out of one timing. This recipe is for honey mustard chicken thighs. You want to start out with eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They make the best, best recipe with this particular dressing. You need four tablespoons of honey and four tablespoons of whole grain mustard. Now the mustard you could actually change up a little bit. If you like it a little bit more spicy, you could do a Creole mustard. But this mustard, the whole grain mustard, is the one that I use most of the time. So we want to take your mustard and mix it together with your honey. A nice grayed honey. Clover honey is great. Okay, get it together. Just make sure it's all incorporated really, really well. And then once you do that, you're actually just going to easily brush it onto your chicken once it's in the pan. Now, if you'll notice over here on the pan, I've got the chicken with the good side up. There's two sides to chicken uh, thighs. The, the rough side and the, and the finished side. And the reason we put it with the finished side up is because we're not going to turn them over we're going to actually baste them halfway through the cooking process. So we want the better side up, the presentation side up. Okay, that's mixed really well. Just take your, br your brush, nice amount, brush it over each one of the chicken thighs. Make sure you get every part of it and if there's any left over, just pour it between it because the juice of the chicken is actually going to mix with the mustard and the honey and make its own little, nice little broth down there. And then halfway through the cooking process, and the cooking process is um, 350 for about 30, 35 minutes. But after um, like 10 or 15 minutes, we're actually going to baste it, take the juices from the bottom of the pan and bring them up and over the chicken. Now, it does not get covered. It does not get covered. If you cover it, it's going to end up steaming it, and we don't want that to happen. So we want to put it into the oven just the way it is. Um, uh, 350, not covered. About 10, 15 minutes later, just pour the juices over it once, and then let it cook for the rest of the time. Okay. 350 for 30 minutes. It's beautiful. See all the juice it's made and we're going to pour the juice over when we serve it. The next recipe I'm going to show you is a side dish to go along with the honey mustard chicken thighs that we made. You need a pound of baby carrots. Now you can actually just cut them up, whole carrots cut them up or do it in slices or whatever, but I use a pound of baby carrots. And you're only going to add one ingredient and that's a quarter of a cup of Catalina dressing available in any grocery store. Mix it really well with the carrots. You don't need to put any water or any other spices. Mix it really well and put it on the stove for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now you can make it cook a little bit longer if you like your carrots softer. I happen to like them a little bitey, so I cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then once they come off the stove, you want to let them sit just for a few minutes to absorb all the um, dressing. And then we're going to add Parsley, chopped parsley. This is fresh chopped parsley. I like to use fresh, but you could use dry. It's all the same, about two tablespoons. 
and about two tablespoons of toasted um, almonds or any other, any other kind of nut that uh, you like. So we're gonna throw this on the stove covered, about 10 minutes, and then bring it back and put the other ingredients onto it. Let them sit for a minute or two, and then we're going to add the other ingredients. The other ingredients are about two tablespoons of chopped parsley, either fresh or dried, and about two tablespoons of toasted almond slivers. Mix that well together. This makes a great side dish for pretty much any meal. The color is great, it's very nutritious. The darker the vegetable, the better it is for you. Here's your carrots. Okay, so you have your chicken thighs all made and left over. Hopefully you have four of them left over because we're gonna take those four chicken thighs and we're gonna make a chicken salad. We're gonna start with your four chicken thighs. We've just cut them up into cubes. And we're going to use two chopped green onions. I like green onions because they're not quite as bitey as regular onions. You want one apple cut up into nice little cubes. Try to make all, everything about the same size. You don't want anything larger than its other component. Okay, we have a stalk of celery. Okay, we have a third of a cup of the um, honey Dijon dressing, salad dressing. Put that in there. And a third of a cup of non-fat sour cream. We're not using mayonnaise so it really cuts down on the fat and then the last thing that we're going to put in here is if you have any carrots left over from the glazed carrot recipe that we did before you can chop those up and put those into it adds great color and great flavor mix that all together really really well and if you don't need to use it right away it actually pays to put it in the refrigerator for about 10 or 15 minutes so that all the Great flavors can kind of marinate and marry together. And then I just scoop it out and serve it over a, a nice plate with some lettuce and let everybody just dig in and enjoy. Makes a really nice cool dish, great lunches. There you go, two meals.